Hey, Tim from Budget Bronco. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use the storage bag that Ford provides with the two-door MIC top uh, that you can use to store the front roof panels in the back of the Bronco. Now, I have not seen any videos on this yet, and interestingly, Ford actually puts a QR code on the bag with the intent that you can scan that code, and it takes you to a video that shows you how to load these bags, which is surprisingly difficult. Sure enough, though, when you look and uh, use that QR code, it doesn't actually take you to a video. It just takes you to a, a help page with various videos, none of which are how to load and use this bag. So I'll save you the trouble. I'm going to create a video today, uh, and hopefully this will help out a lot of two-door MIC top owners in the future. Here we go. Starting, what you're going to want to do is have this bag propped up against something, the back of the Bronco or a wall or anything to kind of keep it a little bit open. This is difficult to do with just one person. Um, you'll notice that on one side of the bag, the side facing out has this curved portion on one side. That's where you want to put the curved part of the top, of course. On the opposite side of the bag, the side of the bag facing away from me, the curved part is on the uh, right side as I'm looking at the bag. So you want to match up the panel so that the curved area accepts the curved side of the panel. You also want to have the flat side of the panel facing towards the wall of the back. So this first panel I'm going to put in with the flat side of the panel facing away from me towards the wall of the bag. It's just kind of awkward and difficult to kind of get in there just right. Um, but again, it helps that you have it propped up against something. Um, and you get it in there and uh, not too bad. So then after you have the first panel in, the bag has this divider section. You're going to put that divider section down into the bag. That helps protect the two panels from rubbing against each other. Kind of uh, gives a little bit of extra layer of protection in between the two panels. So we got that down in there. Now again, curved side of the bag uh, is on the left here as I'm looking at it. You want to take your second panel, again the curved side matching up on the curve of the bag, flat panel facing towards the outside of the bag, and then I'll drop the second panel right in there. A little tricky with one person again. It'd be a lot easier if you have a helper, but there we go. Get it all the way down in there snug, all the way to the bottom. You'll know when it gets all the way in there. There we go. Once you've got it all the way in, zip her up. There we go. Next, loading it into the Bronco. I wanted to note before we load is this loaded bag is actually pretty heavy so I want you to be advised. Uh, I brought out the, the uh, scale just so we can test and I'll show you exactly how much it weighs. Put it on the scale here. Thirty six point four pounds so yeah I mean it's a little bit of a lift. Be advised. So with the bag loaded, we're now going to secure the bag into the back of the Bronco. Uh, you want to start by having this strap out onto the front of the bag, and I'll show you in a minute why. Uh, but go ahead and lift her up. Uh, you want to have the uh, Bronco label lettering facing out towards the back. Uh, get it up in there, slide it towards the seats. And the very next thing I recommend you do is take this strap and you want to throw it around the headrests of the back seat. The reason I say that is that will make sure that there's no chance of this thing flopping out the back. You can see I've got it around the headset, so if something, uh, the headrest, if something should happen, it's not going to come tumbling out the back of the Bronco. So get it up in there, put that strap around. Next, I'll show you you're going to secure that strap from inside the Bronco. Next, from inside the Bronco, just cinch up that strap nice and tight. Doesn't have to be too tight, but just to keep things from uh, flopping around a little bit. Just like that'll do it. 
Then the bag has two nice heavy duty spring loaded rings uh, on each side of the bag and uh, you'll clip these onto the uh, mounting points closer to the seat. So you want to slide the bag a little bit over towards this one to get it on. Got one side on. And then slide the bag over towards the other side a little bit and we'll get the second ring on. There we go. Notice when I post my videos is viewers are always finding, uh, noticing little things, asking questions about them. I really appreciate all the questions. So I'm just going to go ahead and proactively answer one of them right now. Uh, you may have seen these green stickers on one of my panel and I'm going to explain to you uh, why those are there. When I first started specking out my Bronco about nine months ago, one of the thoughts I had is that I might get an Oxford white and then use wrap, vinyl wrap to put a nice kind of green, retro stripe on the side. Ultimately, of course, I decided on the antimatter blue, but um, I decided I would use some of the samples that I bought uh, back then when I was looking at different color types to test the adhesion of three different, I'm sorry, four different wrap types on this uh, MIC top. Um, you may have read, I've read that wraps don't work real well on textured surfaces and the MIC top does have a little bit of texture to it. So I wanted to run a test using some of those color samples I had gotten to see how well they stick. We've got four different types here, but KPMF wrap, Avery Denison, 3M2080 and 3M1080. And I've had these on for about a week now and um, Overall, they're working pretty well, especially the 3M. You can see on the KPMF, if I zoom in here, and I'll maybe attach some pictures too, not really adhering well along this ridge. Similarly, the Avery Denison on this edge here, you can see a little bit of bubbling starting to occur. And I've also noticed on the corners of the Avery Denison, they don't seem to be adhering quite as well. The 3M's doing better, especially the 1080. Um, not really much bubbling going on. One teeny little one here, you can see that uh, if I press against it, it goes away. The 2080 a little bit more kind of right along that ridge. So based on this limited test I've run, the 3M 1080 wrap seems to be doing pretty well. Now this is only a week, uh, so definitely a, a long-term test or actually wrapping it on a vehicle for years and years um, would be the real test. But based on this test, it does seem like the 1080 works okay. So, that's why the green stickers are there. Everything all secured, we can close her up. Always do the glass first, then the tailgate. And we're ready to go. Thanks for watching Budget Bronco. You may notice no spare tire. That's because I'm currently working on painting the wheels. That'll be in the next video. So if you want to see it, Subscribe, and we'll be back shortly. Thanks for watching.